How do you get back on track when you just ate something bad for the weekend and you just don't know what to do? Hey, in case you don't know me, my name's Jason Cheney, and that's what we're going to dig into today. So I hope you had a great weekend. Hope you're having a great Monday to start your day. I'm enjoying it. I uh, just had some fun finishing up a web class that I'm putting together for you. So um, it's been a real good uh, weekend. But uh, this is one of the things that a lot of times we have problems with because, you know, the weekend we want to relax. We want to just chill. We want to be able to eat and just, you know, not have all this pressure on us that's been on us every day of the week from work, from family, from just the uh, stress of you trying to lose weight. And so the weekend, you just want to splurge a little. And hey, I get it. <laughs> Don't feel bad. I do it also. Like this weekend, my wife and I, we ate Frito pie uh, yesterday. And I don't feel bad about it. And guess what? I didn't gain weight from it. And you can be able to do this also. And so one of the things you got to do is start working on your mindset. It's something that a lot of us don't like to talk about, but it's the truth. You have to forgive yourself for allow allowing yourself to eat the foods that you want. It is not going to hurt you if you do it properly. And so what I mean by forgiving yourself is you ate something. Oh, well, just uh, celebrate it like um so just to give you an example, uh, in the Facebook group, someone had, uh, they were doing their first day of plant-based and it turned out they had ended up buying some tortillas that had, uh, some eggs or so, or milk products in it. It's okay. Like I told them, don't beat yourself up. Just, you learned a lesson from it. And this is what, how you have to look at it now from here on out. You're learning a lesson every time you make a mistake. It's not the end of the world. One of the things that, um, you know, because of uh, schooling, especially if you grew up in uh, just a typical American education system, it teaches us that mistakes are wrong. Mistakes are learning lessons. We have to learn from the mistakes that we made. Like the person I am today with my eating and how my health is was not the person I was when I started over five years ago. I was making mistakes left and right. I was angry about it. And I was beating myself up because I had that military complex of you have to do it right. You have to do it now. This is the right way to do it. And it's not the way the world works. Even in the military, I didn't become a good analyst until I started making mistakes. I started learning from those mistakes. I started correcting those mistakes. Mistakes are the key to success. And so whenever you're having a mistake, if you made a mistake this weekend, you ate something bad, it's okay. But I'll go away from it as what did you learn from that mistake? Was there a certain food that you learned that you're going to? Did you learn, okay, something new about your food home? Part of my food home is Frito pie. I am not giving that up. So I've made a way to make sure I can still have that. And so uh, really think about that. Like if you ate something really, really bad this weekend, journal it down. Uh, one of the things I like to do is I always keep a uh, notebook, paper, journal, stuff like that with me at all times because I like to monitor and keep track of what am I learning if I made a mistake. And I still make mistakes to the day. So don't think that, oh, Jason's perfect. Jason, don't do this. Jason, don't do that. Like, if I want to go piece, a piece of cake, I'm going to go go buy some piece of cake. I have a place I can go to. It's within my uh, dietary lifestyle. And I can still have it. And I can still do these things and have fun. And so I hope that was helpful for you. Because if you start learning to celebrate your mistakes instead of beating yourself up, you're going to start seeing a big progression on what you're wanting to get as far as reaching your goals. And so really think about it like, if you have always beat yourself up, you've been hard on yourself, you've been very strict on yourself, and it's not gotten you to where you want to be today, why are you going to keep doing it? Try something different. Please do. Remember, uh, Einstein says the insanity is doing the same thing over and over again with, and expecting different results. We have to start changing the way we approach the problems so we can start get, getting the results that we actually want. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you got value from this, just hit the like button, subscribe. And also, if you know someone who needs this information, because day in and day out, a lot of times we're beating ourselves up. We're at home and we're in our head and we're just talk, talking about how fat we are. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not perfect. I'm stupid. You are not stupid. You are perfect. All you have to do is just improve on where you are, improve on your habits, improve on what you're doing. So if you know someone that's going through that, that's struggling, they feel like they're all alone, they're not just hit the share button so that they can see this also. And that way they can get some value from it. A lot of times we don't know how people are really feeling on the inside until it's too late. And so one of my missions is to make sure that no one ever gets to the point of depression, of anxiety, of uh, in the places that I was, especially when it's around your eating, around your weight, 
because you can be better. There's things that you can do, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So also, um, if you're not in the Facebook group yet, just click the link up above or below, depending where it is. We are getting ready to start the next uh, seven-day jump start. It will be next month on the 15th. So uh, make sure you jump in there. It's going to be really fun. I'm changing some things up. Every, every month, each uh, seven-day jump start is completely different. Uh, this time, we're going to actually go through the span of the weekend. I want you to see exactly what your food home is for the weekend instead of stopping it on the weekend because it's very crucial because one of the things I'm seeing is the weekend is, uh, is like a setback for a lot of people because they're not approaching it correctly. So I want to show you how to appropriately uh, – how to correctly approach the weekend so that you can actually start getting the results, stay on task and stay committed. Remember, it takes commitment. It takes being secure in the decision that you're making and it takes upgrading your knowledge. And just by doing the commitment, just commit to doing the Facebook group. Click the link up above or below. That way I can see you in there. Uh, you also get your security in there because at all times I'm, uh, we're sending out information to help you understand why you're making this decision to help reinforce your decision of wanting to be healthy. And you're also getting upgrading just by watching me here because I'm sharing all the knowledge with you. And uh, so remember, like I'll always like to I also like to do every time an action step for this action step for today to start out your day. Just write out one goal, one goal around your weight of what you want to achieve. This is very, very crucial. I write this goal out each and every day. And uh, one of the things I do, I like to write with a little fancy uh, fountain pen. It's purple because it's something that's very important to me. So just write down your goal today. People always write their goals down. And one of the things that I believe in, success leaves clues. When I started doing this, I started melting the weight off. I can't tell you why <laughs> as far as I don't know if it's supernatural. I don't know if it's a law of attraction. But I can just tell you once I started applying successful uh, habits that uh, my mentors were doing, I started getting the success also. So I want to share that with you. And so just make sure, again, click the link up above or below. And I hope you got value from Okay, so let me get up out of here. Look like the Internet's about to go out on me. I apologize for that. But uh, just, again, hit the link up above or below, depending where it is on your screen, and I'll see you inside the Facebook group. Have a good day and stay supercharged.